Hello and welcome fire signs. How are you guys? <clears throat> I am going to be doing three mini readings for Sagittarius, Leo, and Aquarius. Actually, it's going to be Aries, Leo, and Sagittarius in that order. <clears throat> I am burning some sage in the... This is my little kitchen studio. And this is just going to be a general reading. be three separate readings. They are just general readings. They're not going to resonate with everybody. They couldn't possibly. But if they do, take that information as it resonates with you. Use it to help avoid some of the uh, hurdles and the pitfalls and things that are happening in your life and in your world. That's the whole purpose of a tarot reading. Um, you know, they're, they're fun. We can do them for shits and giggles. But um, take that information and let it guide you. If this information does not resonate with you, leave it the hell alone. Don't try to make it fit. Let it go. Um, it might be somebody else's uh, reading. Stop back. That sage is really taking off. Um, a little bit of smoke going on here. I'm going to go. Let me give me a second to put help, uh, not douse that, but I want to snuff it out a little bit. Um, before I set off the smoke alarms. Okay, I have relocated <clears throat> that um, smudge pot. And I am setting up the paranormal flashlight for fire signs. Some of you have seen me use the light. Some days we get a lot of response. Some days we don't get quite near as much response. <clears throat> Some days it doesn't do anything. Spirit, if you are in the room and have control of the light, can I ask you to give it a wink, a blink, um, or turn it clear off to let me know you have control of that light? Let me know if I have it adjusted correctly for you. All right. <clears throat> Gonna give it a little one more quick adjustment. Don't want to tie you guys up too long. You know what? I hate watching somebody else's readings when they're doing a 20 minute intro. Um, so bear with me. All right, let's see if that will work for spirit. <clears throat> if not, they just may not be um, impressed with um, the frivolous of how things are. Thank you, spirit. I see you on the light. Thank you. Turn it clear off. Thank you. All right, this is for Aries. We're going to jump right in here for Aries. Now that we've got the light working, it may or may not come on throughout the reading. Um, either, either way, it is just spirit validating that they are present and in the conversation. On or off, thank you, spirit, <laughs> can indicate that they are with me. Thank you. All right, can I get a couple more jumpers for Aries, please? You can see the ones that really want out. The ones that are meant to get the heck out of there and on a table. All right, I will take one off the bottom of the deck and one off of the top. And I will go ahead and get us started here. All right, Aries, what's happening for you? I like that first card that jumped out. Um, it landed upside down, face down. I couldn't see what it was. But it was my favorite card. Thank you, Spirit on the Light. <clears throat> it is the death card. Aries, you are finishing up a cycle. This is the death that comes with that cycle. Uh, it is not a physical death. Don't worry about it. <clears throat> it is a spiritual death of something. Something is a, a completion of a cycle. If you follow me, you know... Smoke's going again. <clears throat> if you follow me, you know that I usually relate this to um, my favorite card because the first thing that comes to my mind is the first little seedling that grows right after a horrific wildfire. Everything's charred and black. The first rain happens after that fire and that one little seedling begins to grow. That's the death card right there. Minus the seedling. Uh, da -da -da -dum. You are putting something behind you, Aries. Um, we have the Five of Swords. 
you're tired of doing something and then it, oops, spirits on the light. I got to get out of the way. You're tired of doing something in the same old way. You're tired of the negative response. You're tired of the, some drama and chaos. <clears throat> You're not wanting to play this game anymore. You're willing to step away and just let bygones be bygones and just go away. We also have the Seven of Wands that comes up. Seven of Wands is kind of one of those cards that um, reflects that conflict that you had been you had been dealing with. You know, you're making that choice to step away from it. Um, it is also you could also be dealing with another fire sign, Aries. Um, that, that's what wands are. This seven of wands is also telling me that um, you're separating, you are separating yourself from this, this, this chaos. Not wanting it, not putting up with it anymore. <clears throat> Walking the hell away. We've got the two of swords. You know, you turn a blind eye to this behavior for a long time. You know, somebody was not acting like they should have. Maybe a little immature. Maybe some outbursts. And you're not putting up with it anymore. That's that change you're bringing about. You did turn a blind eye to it. You did not want to make a choice or decision. <clears throat> um, you're stepping into... This new energy of the King of Wands. Um, you're getting comfortable now. You made this choice. You made this decision to move forward with your life um, in this in a different way now. And you're coming into this confidence. Now, you're not afraid to pick that wand up and go to battle if you have to. But the King normally doesn't need to because he's, he's confident. He's okay with that. Thank you, Spirit on the Light. We have the Fool card. I believe you're going to have some beginner's luck in this new endeavor, the new direction you're headed into. Um, there are things that are going to happen around you that let you know that you're on the right path. The fool is like he's he has a lot of luck. You know, he's out there on step. He's out on the edge, um, hanging out there, messing around. But you're going to gain some some luck um, with this new change. And we have the six of cups. There we have a um, new opportunity coming your way. This might actually be opportunity for uh, a connection, a love connection. Cups usually are, can indicate um, that connection with source and with love. And it's headed your way. It's headed your way. All right. We'll do a couple real quick clarifying cards here from the other deck for Aries. Can I get one more, please? There we go. <clears throat> Again, repeating energy here with the Five of Swords. Yes, you're bringing that change about. You absolutely are. <clears throat> you're not wanting to put up that struggle and that battle anymore. You don't need to. You're resting confident. You've got two swords on your shoulder. You're leaning on one. You're going to be okay with this. Follow your gut um, and continue on the path you're on. And this confidence is going to get you where you need to be. And the last card that came up as a clarifier was the chariot card. Chariot card usually is indicates some change that is coming about. It can come about fast. She's on a motorcycle. Um, and it also is usually a change for the good. It came up in the upright position. So Aries, <clears throat> that is your reading. Uh, it is a general reading for you, Aries. If it resonated, please drop down, hit that like, subscribe, and share button. Thank you, Spirit on the Light. Um, nobody else is doing this with paranormal <laughs> flashlight validating the reading. All right, going on to do Leo. Okay, Leo. Let's see. Um, I paused in between and shuffled the cards for Leo. Spirit, I do have the paranormal flashlight still set up. Um, it has been working the whole time I was shuffling and cleansing the, the cards and the decks. All right, Leo, I do believe I have enough on the table. One more. All right. 
right, Leo, let's see what's happening for you. This is a general reading for the sign of Leo. It may not resonate with everybody. If it does, drop down, hit that like, subscribe, and please share this video, um, especially since I'm the only one that's using a paranormal uh, a flashlight for paranormal validation. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, Leo, you are dealing with another fire sign. Um, we have the Eight of Wands. Um, Leo, there's a communication that is getting ready to come through for you. It is somebody you may not have heard from from the past. Somebody that has been out of your picture for a little bit. But that Eight of Wands is all about um, that communication that is going to be coming through. Everything is upside down except for this star card. All right. Leo, there was a decision you needed to make, and you would not and could not make it. Um, we have the Two of Swords. You know what? It was tough for you to make. You didn't. You knew that if you made this connection or this decision, that you were going to be on your own for a while. It is hard for you, Leo, to um, be by yourself yet. You haven't healed. You haven't grown enough to feel um, that you love yourself. Um, you have not made this decision, and it's been weighing heavily on you. <clears throat> um, you may have been also dealing with a Virgo, um, Leo. That's what the Hermit card is all about. But in this particular case, I do feel that it's in the inverted position that this Virgo is in the past. Uh, somebody that is you have left behind or has left you behind um, because the energies can uh, go either way. Thank you, Spirit on the Light. Um, but you also did not want to be alone. You're afraid to be alone. Um, not physically afraid of the dark, but you don't know who you are. You haven't dug into yourself. You haven't done that soul searching. You have not done the healing and the growth you need to do. We have the Ten of Cups that comes up in reverse. Um, that was that happily ever after card, you know, ending that you were hoping for. This situation, Leo, the one that you took, the road, you, the choice that you did make, didn't wasn't the right one. It was right in that moment. It was something that you needed to do to... Um, Just see what was out there in the big world. You kind of felt like you were um, being held back a little bit. Let's see. Let's see. Where's the next card? Uh, the Knight of Wands. Um, this is somebody. This Knight of Wands in reverse can be somebody trying to keep an eye on you. Um, Leo, you feel like you're being spied on. Somebody won't let you out of their sight. They um, search your phone. They, they get on social media and track you. Thank you, Spirit, for validating that on the light. Um, somebody is, it's almost like having a stalker. You know what? Years ago, we had party lines. On, you could hear other people's phone conversations. So, you know, I'm not so worried about it. But there's somebody is keeping an eye on you. Um, this person can be somebody close to you and in close proximity to you. You also had the Queen of Pentacles. She came up in reverse also. Um, the Queen could be male or female energy. Whoever this person is, they presented themselves one way in the beginning. Um, you know, we all do. We put that show on in the beginning about um, I'm nice, love me. I'm nice, love me. We put on that show. I'm good. Look at me. I'm talented. Uh, love me. <clears throat> this person did not turn out to be that way the minute the door is closed. Now, Leo, you show up in your own reading. <clears throat> the strength card comes up. You absolutely are going to need to dig into your Leo strength. Um, there is going to be a, some maybe some trough. Uh, tough trying times coming ahead for Leo. But I'm going to tell you what, Leo. You get the star card. Uh, thank you, Spirit on the Light. 
there's light at the end of that tunnel. All right. You're having a lousy, lousy time, Leo, with something. But once you make that decision, that decision to step away, things are going to get better. The star card is all about healing. It's about enlightenment. <clears throat> it's about a better, it's about a better direction. Leo, this choice that you're making, this change that you're, you're bringing into your life is going to be for the best. <clears throat> oh, jumped right out of my hands again. All right, we're going to move on to the other deck. Um, this is a modern witch tarot. I am not a witch, but the deck is. That's the name of it. <clears throat> All right. Can I get a couple clarifiers for Leo? We'll take those right there. I wanted to make themselves known. All right, Leo. The hangman comes up. That is um, somebody that's stuck in one spot for a while. You haven't made any headway right, left, or up or down at all. Just been kind of stuck in a rut. You have not liked the direction it goes in. Also, the other thing, uh, oftentimes my intuition picks this card up as a legal card. Uh, if you are a Leo and you're driving under intoxication, please, spirit on light, get a designated driver. I often interpret this card as being picked up or arrested. Uh, it could be a, a possibility of a DUI, something legal going on here. And um, we also have this Six of Pentacles that comes up. Leo, you may have to let something go. Uh, something tangible here. You know, if that... DUI does come about, you're going to need to spend some money. <clears throat> you're going to be losing something that is of value to you, something that you're going to have to let go. Again, another card jumps out of my hands. All right. That was the general reading for the sign of Leo. Moving on to Sagittarius. Leo's, thank you on the light spirit. Um, if that reading resonated with you, drop down, like, subscribe, and please share this. All right. Hello and welcome, Sagittarius. <clears throat> Getting ready to do a general reading for the sign of Sagittarius. Um, <clears throat> whether you are Sagittarius in your sun, your moon, or your rising sign, um, this reading may resonate with you. This is the paranormal flashlight that I set up. It is simply a six-inch mag light. It is a double A, and <clears throat> we use these in our paranormal research, and I set it up for my readings. I know spirit is in the room with me. I can hear and feel. I can often see them. Um, but there is no way for you to validate um, spirit. I do this in my private readings. If you sit and have a private reading with me, um, you can. I use this light as uh, a tool during that reading. <clears throat> All right. Either on or off with the light is just a validation that it is in the conversation. All right, Sagittarius, there we go. Let's see what we have here. All right, Sag, looks like you might be dealing with a cheater. Uh, <laughs> you fire signs have been getting tore up today, let me tell you. Leo had a tough one. Aries wasn't quite as bad. Um, Sagittarius, bam. You have the Five of Wands. It comes up for you. The Five of Wands has been showing up off and on today. It is just a um, the ener energy for the collective right now. You, This is all about your life right now. A lot of fighting, a lot of arguing, a lot of chaos, a lot of confusion. <clears throat> Sagittarius, this is, you're having a tough time. You really are. Having a tough time. Having a tough time. Let me get this out of the way here. You <clears throat> are going to need to walk away from something here. It's not been serving you. You have not been happy. You're turning your back on something here. <clears throat> um... Let me see here. <clears throat> trying to pick up intuitively on this too. Um, that's okay, Sagittarius. You know what? This is going to take you in a little different direction. 
you know, you're going to have to go by way of um, like hit or miss hard times, but it's going to work out for the best. The situation you were in, you know, the, you've got the Nine of Cups, and this is kind of a wish fulfillment card, but it came up upside down. Thank you, Spirit on the Light, for validating this. Things did not go like you planned. You thought something was going to be different. Sagittarius, this other person told you things about themselves that didn't weren't true, didn't materialize. Um, get some clarification on this. However they represented themselves, it wasn't true. Um, it, 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 the, their whole story fell apart. But this person absolutely loves you. You've got the King of Cups. This person came to you with an open heart, um, willing to love, wide open. They were willing to love you at full speed ahead. Um, but that was only short-lived. That was short-lived. It didn't, didn't last all that long. Um, we have the Three of Swords that comes up for you, Sagittarius. Now, normally when this card comes up, it's because somebody in the relationship either is a cheater or was a cheater. The light's going on back there. And I, it just did, it validated this. Somebody in your, the person that you may be associated with, Sagittarius, um, may have been in a relationship before they got to you, or they may be in a third party relationship right now. They could very well be, <clears throat> or it could very well be you. Take whatever way the energy resonates. Thank you on the light spirit. Um, so Sagittarius, I saw a blink there. You might be, um, talking to somebody outside of the relationship yourself. <clears throat> Um, the Page of Swords comes up. <clears throat> Thank you, Spirit on the Light. Page of Swords comes up to tell us that there is going to be a fast change that comes about. The sword is always represents truth, re represents um, things of the air and in your head. You may have a tendency to be up in your head too much. You do make mountains out of molehills. You know, it's kind of what the page does. He comes in representing, uh, holding a placard, letting you know change is coming. But Sad, you're getting ready to make this choice. We have this Seven of Swords that comes up for you, Sag. Uh, it came up in reverse. You're willing to walk away and leave some of this behind. Um, I don't think you've been telling this other person that you're planning on leaving. Um, you're, I feel like you might be getting ready to make a move and not let them know. That might be the best way. Like you're and this this guy's trying to sneak out with with some stuff here. And you feel like you might have to sneak out with what little you have left. Um, you've been losing and losing more and more things. Your dignity, your pride, personal possessions. And you're willing to leave some of that behind just to salvage some. We also have the moon card that comes up in reverse for you. Thank you, spirit on the light. Uh, validating. The moon card in reverse is telling me that somebody didn't turn out to be as they appeared to be. I were validating that a second time. The moon brings a lot of things into illumination. Sometimes this card is almost like a Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde kind of energy. It reflects that one of the parties in this relationship. Um, they weren't who they said they were. <clears throat> Maybe had a false mask on. It could also be a Scorpio that you're dealing with. There is, uh, you can see a scorpion climbing out of the water. And you can actually see two towers in the background. Tower moments are catalysts for big change. Again, thank you, Spirit with the Light. Um, <clears throat> there you have it. Let's get a couple clarifiers for Sagittarius. I see I have some of the cards headed the wrong direction in here, but it makes no difference because I'm playing the jumpers. There they go, right out there. All right, Sagittarius, here are the cards that popped out for you. Uh, the lover's card. You thought this person was a soulmate, and they were not. Uh, you kind of felt it, thought they were. You had a lot of the same habit, hab, habits, had a lot of the same hobbies and pastimes as this person. 
and you really thought they were a soulmate. And you know what? They still may be a soulmate. It's not the connection that you thought it was. A soulmate can be your fifth grade teacher. A soulmate could be um, Aunt Bessie. Anybody that impacts your life at all is a soulmate. <clears throat> Sagittarius, you need to make a choice. Um, you need to either figure out if you're going to fix this uh, or let it go. That's what you've been thinking. Uh, but you're, according to this, you've been looking at your cell phone, make, laying out some plans for the direction you're headed in. Sag, this is going to go in a good direction for you because you've got the eight, uh, Ace of Swords that comes out. This is all about justice. <clears throat> You are finally going to get your justice, Sag. Um, things are going to turn around. It may not feel, thank you, Spirit, on the light. It may not feel like it at first. Things may look like they're going to go south for a minute. And then in divine timing, look at that hand coming out of the cloud. Things are going to change. Sagittarius, you get the world card. There is a whole lot of opportunity out there for you. It's coming your direction and it's headed your way. Wow. It started out kind of rocky for Sag, but look, it's going to get better. You can take control of it. Thank you, Spirit on the Light, and you can lead your life your way. All right, you guys, that's it. Um, general reading for my fire signs. Drop down, like, subscribe, and share. And you know what? I never leave you guys that I don't bless you with love and light. See you soon.